if we cut total days on feed, then we cut land use, feedstuff use and total greenhouse gas emissions, for example. So any technologies or management practices that allow us to do that give us a better environmental impact. So the biggest I impact you can have, as I see it, is, is to improve productivity. So whether it's a grass-fed system, whether it's a feedlot, whether it's the cow-calf operation, anything that improves productivity, calves born per cow, growth rate, days on feed, all of those will cut total environmental impact. Our livestock systems are very efficient. We have uh, optimized health care for animals, nutrition for animals, um, basically the, the entire beef sector, but also the dairy and the other livestock sectors, uh, have learned to produce an optimal amount of output per input. For example, over the last 40 years, we have produced twice as much beef with half the number of animals. Twice as much beef with half the number of animals. Now that's a model for the rest of the world because that's exactly what we need to do in the next 30, 40 years to come because we are increasing the global population of humans from currently 6.8 to then 9.3 billion people. I think the U.S. is actually a leader in a lot of areas about reducing impacts around beef production uh, and they've done it basically to survive. So they've become very efficient, which means reducing waste, reducing pollution, etc. Uh, we can learn a lot from what's happened here and spread it around to other parts of the world. And I think there are some other places where some really interesting things have happened too that people in this country could learn from.